This here is my finished abstract piece that I created and it's based off a sketch that I made while I was at the beach. Some raw inspiration and here it is. If you look at these images here, I put them in a lot of my tribal abstract art pieces and they actually are inspired from the flying fox design from Papua New Guinea. The flying fox design is put on the gope boards of the Papua New Guinea warriors. They were practicing head hunting up until the 1960s. The flying fox can be found on a lot of different gope boards and they protect the warrior in battle. There's all these different designs of them. I've collected these images over a span of about 20 years. These images here have uh, ancestor spirits with very large heads. The head is supposed to be the container of the soul. This here is an example of the flying fox from Papua New Guinea. You can see some of the designs in the wingspan. And these uh, flying foxes, which are fruit bats, love to eat big fruit. Because the flying fox likes to eat big fruit, you'll see these heads are also big. The heads are known to be the containers of the soul. Therefore, the flying fox represents eating the soul of the enemy. Not only eating the soul of the enemy, but the whole thing and idea of it represents headhunting, which I think is a very cool symbol, kind of lost in time. The missionaries wiped it out, but I like to bring it back. 